They are apparently hidden in the foods we eat, plastic chemicals. In fact, they're pretty widespread, according to new testing by Consumer Reports. They check cereal, yogurt, meats, fast food, and more. You might be surprised what they found. 12 on your side's Marilyn Mortz with the worst offenders and some small steps that you can take to minimize the chemicals you eat. Take a trip to the grocery store or hit the fast food drive through Packaged produce, meat, canned foods, fast food, you name it, it probably contains some form of a chemical used to make plastic. We tested a wide variety of packaged foods, 85 to be exact. Consumer Reports tested foods like canned fruit, canned fish, baby food, fast food, burgers, and a lot more. We were looking primarily for chemicals called phthalates, as well as bisphenols such as BPA. And we found them at levels that our scientists say are not okay. Why does it matter? Even at low levels, studies suggest these chemicals can contribute to an increased risk of diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, and certain cancers. Eliminating these chemicals from food is hard, if not impossible. The problem is it's not just about avoiding food that is wrapped in plastic. There are so many ways these chemicals can get into our food. Like conveyor belts, food handling gloves, even contaminated water and soil. Still, there are some things you can do to try to minimize your exposure. First of all, don't store your leftovers in plastic containers that aren't toxin free. And if you do use them, don't put them in the microwave. Heat can increase chemical leaching into your food. Watch the fast foods. Those had some of the highest levels of plasticizers like phthalates in the tests. One reason fast foods may have such high levels is that they're often prepared by people wearing vinyl gloves, which are known to be extremely high in these chemicals. Try to eat fresh foods, stick with wood, stainless steel, and silicone tools. And that plastic water bottle, swap it for glass or steel. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.